my sweet little pet i'm home <laughs> why are you shying away from me you've just been warming up to me why are you so scared oh is it the blood it's not even that much everything considered i <laughs> i killed them all even all might and his protege <laughs> they're all dead uh, well you're right even I can take on all of you by myself, but I got my revenge. I hated our class so much, all those annoying people and that damn class 1A. I had to get rid of them. Oh, baby, you already knew this was going to happen, so why are you crying about it still? You thought poor, naive, precious Midoriya would show up at the last second, switching to the hero side and saving the day? <laughs> No, I had my own vendetta apart from the League. There was no way I was backing out. Mm -hmm. What do I mean? I think it's time for a little story time, my dear. Make yourself comfortable. I'm just going to clean my knife. Don't you worry about me. See, there was this boy I used to look up to when I was little. Some would even say I had a huge crush on him. His name was Katsuki Bakugo, but I lovingly referred to him as Kachan. Why, yes, he was in class 1A. Interrupt me again and we're gonna have some problems, my darling pet. Anyway, I adored him so much. He was so cool. His quirk was so powerful and could be used to help people. And there I was. A quirkless little fangirl who took notes on heroes, just clinging to the hope that someday all that information could accumulate into something a poor, useless wannabe could transform into raw power. And then finally, I'd end up a hero. Of course, that information was my in to the league, but back to my darling Kachan. He never believed in me. He bullied me, told me I was completely worthless. Then we both got accepted into UA and he was so mad. Then he realized I would be stuck in general studies and he was thrilled as a raving lunatic could be. Oh, but he's dead now. He's finally atoned for his constant abuse. He put up a hell of a fight, let me tell you. When I locked all those 1A brats into their room, they all panicked. Of course. I had to take out their homeroom teacher first, but after that, it was just a piece of cake to kill the rest of Kajan's little friends. He was the last one dead, you know. <laughs> See, it's typically difficult to hack off a head with a knife, but with my new quirks, it was just as easy as chopping off his tongue. Now he won't go around insulting p good people anymore. Ah, oh, don't be getting sick on me now. He wasn't even the cherry on top of my pet. If it was just him, I might just be another victim at UA right now. Oh no, indeed. It was that damned All Might I used to revere so much. Oh, know what he did? He looked me in the eye and told me I could never be a hero. I was so crushed. Oh, I cried. Buckets and rivers and lakes and a small ocean. I was so distraught, you understand. Then I finally understood. I was looking at it all from the wrong angle. Heroes aren't nearly as selfless and righteous as they chalk themselves up to be. In fact, we villains have a point. The world represses us because they're so scared that we're right. That society would come crashing down if enough people came to understand how flawed the hero mentality is. But why shouldn't it all topple over like the house of cards it is? <sighs> Wouldn't I make a wonderful ruler in this new world? I know I would. Oh, but where does that leave you? The heroes are all dead with a few scattered about and hiding from us. We have become unstoppable, truly. The question is, do I kill you like the rest of them? Hmm. <laughs> do you like it when the knife trails down your neck like this? 
It tickles a little, right? Oh, I could really get addicted to that brave face. And yet, the way your eyes widen and your mouth goes slack for that brief moment before you can put that mask on. I love it even more. Oh, hmm. I have told you I loved you, haven't I? But, 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 how many times have you repeatedly told me you never loved me? Shall we count them all? Oh, begging for mercy already? Hmm. You know, you have been really good for this last little while I've had you here. Well, excluding your harsh words, of course. And besides, I already spent the money on those soft handcuffs of yours. How about this? Why don't you kiss me, pet? If you take my breath away, I'll let you keep your life. <laughs> oh yes, I will definitely be keeping you around, my precious pet. I suppose it's just a matter of time before you fall for me too. If you really think about it, I've killed all those people for you! And the rest of the survivors, I suppose. I'm forging the path to a better society where good people like me have all the power rather than those corrupted heroes. What do you mean I'm not a good person? Oh, hush. You just don't understand. I'm making history right now. These next few months will put me in the books as a good girl, mind you. Uh, is it that you've just been feeling neglected since I've been plotting for so long? Hmm. Soon enough, I'll be able to shower you with gifts. Anything you want will be yours. After all, soon Everyone will have to pay tribute to the most powerful being in the world, which I will be after today. All for one is going to offer me his power. Can you believe it? Soon I'll be able to remove that burdensome quirk from you and protect you from the real scumbags of the world forever. Doesn't that sound perfect? How does it feel? Be in love with the most powerful woman. No, the most powerful being in the world. Oh, you're so happy you're crying again. I remember when I was a crybaby too. What a pair we would have been if we had met earlier. Don't worry, pet. I'll be strong for both of us, and I will mold this world into something beautiful. Just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs>